Thanks, TJ. Now to our top news story tonight. Developing news this hour out of Weymouth. A police officer, an Army veteran, has been shot and killed. A woman bystander also killed in an altercation this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern has been closely tracking developments in this investigation and joins us live in studio with what police now know. Kate, Officer Michael Chesna didn't just serve on the Weymouth Police Department. He was an Army veteran, a husband, and father of two young kids. The district attorney says the investigation is still in its early stages as the community mourns. Community members and first responders line Massachusetts streets during a procession for 42-year-old Weymouth officer Michael Chesna. He was always had a kind word and a, and, a, and a good attitude. He was one of those people that truly sought this job. Weymouth Police Chief Richard Grimes talking about the man he hired almost six years ago to the day. Tomorrow would be his anniversary date with the police department at six years. According to Norfolk County Assistant District Attorney Greg Connor, Officer Chesna was responding to a report of an erratic driver. There was a crash in the Burton Terrace area around 7.30 Sunday morning. I was sleeping and I heard um, a car come down the street, pedal to the pedal. I mean, crazy. It woke me up. When Officer Chesna got there, the assistant DA says he saw the suspect, now identified as 20-year-old Emmanuel Lopes, vandalizing a home. Investigators say Chesna got out of his car and drew his weapon, telling the suspect to stop. Lopes then attacked Officer Chesna, it is believed, with a large stone, striking him in the head. And Officer Chesna fell to the ground. Connor says Lopes then took Officer Chesna's gun and shot him in the head and chest and then took off with the gun when other police arrived. According to the DA, Lopes fired Chesna's weapon three more times, hitting and killing a woman who was inside her home. The assistant DA says Lopes was shot in the leg by police and arrested shortly after. Chesna was later pronounced dead at the hospital. He was just uh, a great family man. He was a great officer. And Lopes is scheduled to be arraigned on two counts of homicide tomorrow. And this all comes just about three months after Yarmouth Police Sergeant Sean Gannon was shot and killed in line of duty as well. I'm Eric Alpern, Eyewitness News.